because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie with ash holes. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Did to take a day off yesterday, but let's go do this shoot again. What is this? Huh. CAO Columbia. Also, shout out to Cigar Brad for getting yesterday's uh, cigar. This, yesterday's was the Anniversario Siglo, the one with the blue one with the Carlito picture on it. So, good on you, Cigar Brad, for getting that one. Uh, good fucking yard! So, Colombia actually has a Nicaraguan uh, wrapper and a Colombian and a Brazilian filler. That's quite interesting. You expect at least a little Nicaraguan in that filler, but no. Mm. Wrapper, not much smell. Filler, I just found the sick trick, watch. I didn't know that Instagram did this. All right, bow, and we're back, boom. And we're back, boom. And we're back, boom. Look at that. The rapper has a very light, sweet smell. Mm. Not much going on. Very plummy, very, uh, very leathery, very leathery wrapper. That's pretty nice. Not much smell. Wow, bitter, right from the get-go. Very, very bitter. Excuse me. Hi, You're bothering me. Ooh. Very bitter, leathery. Ryan messaged me about this. I was just about to talk about it. Mm. The one thing I will say is the smoke production, the draw is a little bit lacking. Uh, you know, I expect a little bit better draw. It's maybe out of seven out of 10 right now. But yeah, Ryan, you're right, kind of tight. Yeah, very oaky start. The bitterness did take a step back once my palate kind of alchemated to it. Um, but really surprised that it had that much robustness from the beginning. To be honest with you, after you smoke a little bit, it gets a lot smoother. The first inch honestly fucking sucked, but after it opened up, after the first inch, it does taste much, much better. Yeah, yeah, tons better. Uh, it got a little bit sweeter. The bitterness definitely took a back seat and it became less. It's a little bit, a little bit sour too, actually. Sweet, sour, leathery, nice, nice notes. Um, the only thing that really happened is that bitterness backed up, which is nice. The draw still kind of sucks though. I'm 100% enjoying the second half of this smoke way, way more than the first half, I gotta say. Once it opens up, the bitterness takes a back seat and it just becomes super duper uh, delicious. Not too complex, but the flavor that is there is fucking great. One thing that is really nice is um, I am working, so sometimes I gotta put the cigar down, run around, do a bunch of stuff. Um, and even though I put it down for, let's say, five minutes, it still stays lit, and I think that's really great. A lot of cigars actually go out pretty fast. And that's uh, one bad. Since I am almost done, I do. Oh, shh. man down. So since I am almost done, I did just kind of want to talk about the flavor. It did start very bitter and earthy, but halfway through, the bitterness definitely went down. A little bit of sweetness showed its head, but it's a very dull sweetness, almost like a cinnamon sweetness, right? Uh, and that was kind of on the back end, kind of like, it was like a, the secondary note. The primary note started earthy, and then it went into a nice leathery smoke. So right now it's very leathery and kind of smooth. A little counterintuitive. You would expect it to be smoother in the beginning and then harsher in the end, but this one kind of does it backwards, which I'm cool with. The cigar did really get much better. Uh, I, I thought it was gonna be shitty the whole time, but it did end up actually uh, gaining a lot of traction and some delicious flavor. I wouldn't say it has that much evolution, but the flavor that's there is, is quite good. So that's should speak for itself, and I guess that's it. Thank you. I love cigars. Blah, blah, blah.